everybody. Uh, Happy New Year and all that. So um, I thought I'd start off today just uh, showing you a new feature which I've added onto my red and green site. So um, as you can see, learn web scraping. If you go to the main redandgreen.co.uk, top right corner, learn web scraping. And I've kept it fairly minimalist, which um, hoping to be my new kind of style in uh, 2021. And also, I will try to talk faster because I've had a couple of comments which say uh, I talk too slowly and obviously <laughs> time is money. Thanks for the feedback. Right, challenge one, jQuery and get. So I've written this using jQuery, which is partly as a, a, a way to teach myself more jQuery. So challenge one, let me just zoom in a bit on that as well. Maybe one bit bigger, one, two, five percent. The click me button is using jQuery dollar dot get, but you can work out how to scrape the exact same data using Python. So when I click that, you get some red writing. Where does that red writing come from? And once you've worked out where it comes from, can you write some Python code to extract the same text and potentially more because <laughs> there is more uh, available if you know where to get it from. So challenge two builds on that really. So similar concept, but there's a bit of additional um, so you click on there and you get this red text. So where does that come from? Um, how would you get it using Python? And then there's a little hint there as well, which don't use that unless you really have to, because um, I wouldn't say this is advanced and I wouldn't say it's beginner. It's probably somewhere in between. So if you're a beginner, and you can do this, then you're doing well. But if you're advanced, then just go in there, see what you can do, see how quickly you can do it. So, um, yeah, can you do it in one minute? Can you do it in five minutes? Write the code in Python, use beautiful soup, requests, scrape if you want. <laughs> and um, challenge three, find some more content by making use of the button below. Get all of the text. Python once you've identified it. So again, click me. And trust me, when you click that, something does happen. So <laughs> I can't really say any more because it will give the game away. <laughs> right. That is Learn Web Scraping. So there you go. It's free. It's all part of the service. And just excuse me, we'll have a slip of my brew. And... Has anybody got any requests? Not HTTP requests, actual <laughs> video requests. Um, I wouldn't say I'm at a loose end, but I'm kind of at one of those points where, oh, oh, it's not even a crossroads, but it's kind of one of those um, junctures, should we say, where you think, well, I could do this, I could do that. So if I, I can throw some ideas out there, would anybody like to see more? scrapey with my sql because that is something which i probably will be doing anyway so if you'd like me to prioritize that i can um would anybody like to see how i make my videos i'm happy to share that as well um i if just as a little taster i can tell you now really um i've started using obs obs is open source uh, so it runs on linux mac windows um, there's lots of support for it, forums, and um, yeah, whether you're into web scraping, Dr. P old school Dr. Pi with tinkering with Arduino, Raspberry Pi, whatever, um, I'm sure how to make videos might interest many of you. Um, yeah, enough said on that. So, scraping MySQL, how I make my videos. I'd also include sound settings on that because sound is obviously probably more uh, more important than many people give it credit for or rather more important than many video creators give credit for if you're a viewer then sound as we all know is very important um i was gonna say a third thing um i'm probably just going to concentrate more on just python this year because um i'm not saying web scraping is dead <laughs> far from it but i think 
you need to have more than one string to your bow and and if the way you, if you rely on upwork for an income then you're probably going to be competing in what's called a race to the bottom and if you don't know what a race to the bottom is i i have to be careful when i say some of these things race to the bottom because i know some people probably english is not your first language and <laughs> Certain translations can have very, um, very different meanings. But there we go. The race to the bottom is a socio-economic race to describe government deregulation of the business environment or reduction of tax rates in order to attract or retain economic activity in those jurisdictions. What it, the way I kind of use it is just a, it's a competition to see who will do work for the lowest price and yeah none of us want to get involved in that obviously web scraping requires quite a bit of skill and why should we do that for very low money so if that's of interest uh, looking at more python i'm currently studying python one-liners as i'm already alluded to so yeah i think one-liners is a very good book and it shows you the power of mastering a language and being able to um, use one line of code which actually achieves what potentially five or ten lines of code would have done i mean if the classic example is the list comprehension you write a list comprehension that's one line which previously would have been four or five and so yeah so on. you get the idea so that's another idea for video and um well and feel free to suggest anything else yourselves and um yeah, if I talk a bit, talks a bit quick. Let me speak properly. Sorry, let me have a drink. If I talked a bit more quickly, this one, I hope so. So um, I'll just show you this. Anybody know what that is? <laughs> no rude comments. First person to guess what that is wins. <laughs> they don't win a prize i've got two free metal rulers to give away but i don't really want to go to the post office at the moment i don't know about where you're from but in the uk we've got even worse lockdown than before and we're bringing we're we're, the sh we're bringing shame to ourselves because of our behavior so um i'll just oh yeah one last thing notebooks so forget all that google sheets and software and stuff Get yourself a notebook, do yourself a favour, and um, <laughs> yeah. Do you like it? I don't know where it came from, actually. It was a present, but um, yeah. Look at that. Okay, so I'll leave you with that. Don't forget the web scraping challenge. That's the main point of this. Um, if you get stuck or if you'd like me to do video solutions to this, then um, I can do. I may not actually bother because I think um, that will spoil it. And really, if um, if you put your mind to it, you should really be able to solve all three of these. And I've given you hints. And if I do a explainer video, then that could ruin it for future people. So, um Thanks for watching and I hope I've talked faster. Thank you. See you next time.